Hey everyone, what is going on? We're back talking about Wi-Fi 6 mesh systems in the house. Now, this is a product that we probably don't update every year and you probably don't need to, but it's something that I notice a lot of people like myself have neglected for maybe a few years. And as we always start updating our products, our phones, our tablets, our laptops, we might be noticing to ourselves, hey, wait a second, my internet is really slow. What's going on here? What is happening? Chances are, it's not your service provider. It might be your Wi-Fi system. This video is brought to you by Logitech. Here at Geek Culture, gaming is a way of life and we always enjoy dishing out headshots with Logitech G Pro X Super Light Mouse. The lightweight wireless mouse combines excellent performance with classy no frills look. Designed with pros and engineered to win, it offers crisp and responsive clicks. The smooth operator even allows you to swap out the magnetic dongle storage compartment for greater gliding ease. Check out all of its other features over at LogitechG.com. You know, nowadays, it's not just our phone and our computer or our tablet. It is air purifiers, refrigerators, uh, washing machines, display cabinets in the back, TVs, gaming consoles, lighting systems, watches. So many things are connected to the net all at once. And if you're living in a household of, of a few people, that's even more devices on top of that. And with older Wi-Fi systems, if you're in this situation, and I was in this uh, a while back, I realized, why is my internet so slow? I kept calling my provider, what is going on? What is going on? Like reset your modem, reset this, reset that. It still was happening. The reason being, I had so many devices connected to the, my, my Wi-Fi system, it couldn't handle it. That's where Wi-Fi 6 comes into play, is because Wi-Fi 6 is like a massive highway. Think of it like that. And you have all these lanes, when you have all these lanes, more cars can go down the highway at a faster speed than let's say a two lane highway. The same concept goes for Wi-Fi 6. It's designed for our lifestyle in 2020, 2021 and beyond to take all these devices into consideration, okay? That's a one big benefit to it. And if you haven't upgraded to it, once you do, trust me, I noticed a big difference in performance around my home. Another great thing about the Wi-Fi 6 mesh systems case in point is it does alleviate most of the dead spots in your home. It is not perfect. If you have large concrete walls or rock walls in your home, you might find some challenges here and there, but more, more times than not, you're gonna notice that these systems with the bandwidth the 2.4 gigahertz and the five gigahertz and sometimes their tri-band with an additional five gigahertz band for newer devices coming to the market in the future, you're not gonna have the dead spots like you used to have. These router systems have really improved. Now, for me personally, I use the TP-Link Deco X68, um, and I have three of what we call these nodes in my home. And my place is around 2,200 square feet, four bedroom apartment, I've got some concrete walls, and it can be a little bit uh, challenging with my previous older Wi-Fi system where I was getting some dead spots, and you know, some people complained that they were you know, staying over like, I'm not getting internet, can you help me out here? This system, three nodes, I am more than covered in my apartment. As a matter of fact, when I walk my dog outside, I can take her out to the very front of my apartment building and I still have coverage. It's crazy, but it works. Um, another thing to take note of with these Wi-Fi 6 systems is you are gonna get more consistent speeds and better battery life because the devices that are capable of Wi-Fi 6, let's say our latest phones and laptops and computers, the way that it utilizes the Wi-Fi system, it actually helps you on your battery life on your device to last a little bit longer, which is great. Now let's look over some of the things that you need to take note of that may be more marketing than anything else. Now on a lot of these Wi-Fi 6 mesh systems, they're gonna tout these crazy speeds. It is so fast. You're gonna look at that like, oh my God, my internet's gonna be crazy fast. I can't wait. Hold up a second. A lot of this is marketing. Let's say if I'm looking at a box and it has like 1800 Mbps, 2000 Mbps, 3000 Mbps, and I'm like, wow, my internet's gonna be blazing fast when I get home. You gotta look at your internet plan. Most of us here in Singapore, we run off a one Gbps plan. So all those numbers, these boxes are telling me, I'm never gonna hit. I'm not gonna hit them at all. That might be for a corporate setup. It might be for someone that is paying a crazy amount of money for blazing fast internet. I don't know. But if you're if you're looking for it on a consumer side of things, you're not gonna hit those speeds, okay? But you will get pretty close to what you're paying for. Now, I've never hit one Gbps on any router system that I've had in my home and I've tested a few. 
Uh, on this TP-Link X68, I get about 6,800 uh, when I'm closest to the main no node. Then as I get farther into my home, it drops me around to four to 500 because every time it shares to another node, it does drop a little bit of speed, okay? But it's still good enough for anything that I need to do, streaming Netflix, watching, you know, watching movies or TV shows or gaming or uploading to the internet, I have no issues at all with that. But it is something to take note of that some of this stuff is more marketing and hype than anything else. And sometimes they charge more money for these speeds you're never gonna hit. So take a look at that. Another thing to take note of is that um, these Wi-Fi 6 mesh systems nowadays are much easier to set up than previous years. Now, if you were like me a few years back and you bought your, uh, your router system and you had to go into the 192.168.1.1 admin password and set everything up manually and you had to move everything, all that is alleviated now. Most of the time, you just have to download an app, put it onto your phone, and you can set up your Wi-Fi system under 10 minutes. I did it with this system. It was seamless, no issues at all. Now, you can customize the system once you're inside of that. You can, of course, you can assign the 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz based on the devices that you have. So the nice thing with these systems is you can also set up a guest network there. So if you do have people that are coming to your home, you don't want them using your main network, you can set up that guest network for, the, uh, for them as well. So there's a lot of ways you can customize it and it is relatively user friendly. Um, so these are some of the things I would ta say that Wi-Fi 6 is a must upgrade for 2021. Techtober is right around the corner. A lot of devices are gonna be coming out there. You're gonna be upgrading a lot of your devices, probably I'm assuming your phones, your laptops, your tablets, all that great stuff. But if you haven't updated your Wi-Fi system in the last uh, few years, that might be something I would do first before you get anything else new because you're never gonna utilize the power and the performance out of these products without a solid internet system in your house. All right, anyway, those are my thoughts on Wi-Fi 6 uh, mesh systems like this TP-Link uh, X68 Deco system here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Is this something that you've already updated? Is there something that I'm missing that I should be talking about? Hit me in the comment section below and uh, we'll have that chat there. With that, stay safe, take care, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, like this video, helps out our channel a lot, and I'll chat to you in the next one. Take care.